Hi students, uh, we will discuss our fourth lab program that is to check whether a given number is palindrome or not. The, the question is you are supposed to develop a C program to find the reverse of a positive integer and to check for palindrome or not and you are supposed to display the appropriate messages. Um, we can come to our program. We have included our header file and we are starting with our main and uh, we are supposed to check whether a given number is palindrome or not. So I have taken a number and the data type for integers it is int and I have a temporary variable and I am initializing the variable reverse equal to zero and I have another one variable known as digit. This is my declaration part and this is initialization and you read the number from the integer from the user you read the integer from the user and uh, in scan of statement since it is integer you will have percentage d comma ampersand num and you store this uh, num value in a temporary variable and you are supposed to uh, according to the question you are supposed to find the reverse of a number and you are supposed to check whether the given number is palindrome or not uh, i'll tell you how to check whether a given number is palindrome or not you have a number you reverse it and you check the reverse number with the original number if both are same it is a palindrome number i'll take an example you take 456 400 and um, 454 454 and you reverse it when you reverse this 454 you will get 454 only now the reverse number is equal to the original number so I can say it is a palindrome number it is a palindrome number uh, you take another one example 1 2 3 if you reverse it you will get 3 2 1 you compare the reverse number with the original one it is not same so it is not a palindrome number right so the first step is i have to reverse it. to reverse it i have to extract digit by digit and i have to place it so how will i extract digit by digit suppose if i have 454 first um, i want the last digit that is the digit in one's place right i need to be as the first number right so last four should come as first because I am reversing it. So how will I get the last one? Um, when you divide a number by 10, right? Uh, so whatever value you are getting as the reminder, that will be your last digit. Suppose if you have 12 and when you divide 12 by 10, the reminder will be 2. Right? Uh, so 1, 2. How, we, how can I get 2? So divide the number by 10 and get the reminder. Right? So in programming languages to get the reminder i'll be using the operator modulus so number modulus 10 will give you the reminder that reminder will be the um, last digit so that digit should come in its first place right uh, so initially i'm uh, initialize this uh, reverse variable to zero so now reverse equal to zero zero into ten zero plus digit uh, take the same example 454 so 4 is my digit after the first uh, operation that is 454 uh, modulus 10 will give you 4 so my digit is 4 now reverse is carrying 4 right uh, now reverse is carrying 4 now what could be the next number right uh, so uh, next number I have extracted the first digit so remaining is 45 only in that 45 next I have to take the 5 so how can I get that 45 divide that number by 10 quotient will be your next number so num is equal to next number is equal to the original number divided by 10 right so this process I will repeat until my num uh, becomes zero until your number becomes zero this process will be repeated right once when num becomes zero it will come out of the while loop and this uh, reverse value will be checked with the original one right uh, for this checking purpose only i have stored this original num value in term right uh, so this reverse number will be checked with the original one if both are same i'll print the message as palindrome if not it is not palindrome number 
at the same time according to the question you are supposed to print the reverse value also so we can see the execution part here students we can see the output that is execution of our program a program uh, header file declaration and we are reading the integer which has to be checked whether it is a palindrome number or not and i have the um, while loop this while loop will be repeated until num becomes 0 and i am supposed to print the <coughs> reverse number and if reverse number is equal to the original number original number i am storing it in a temporary variable if both are same it is a palindrome number if not it is not a palindrome number and here uh, in this while loop what is happening i have to extract digit by digit so to extract individual digit i'll use this modulus operator so that i'll get the reminder to get the reminder in programming language i can use this modulus operator and once a digit is extracted what could be the next number that will be the quotient so divide the number by 10 you will get an answer you will get the quotient that quotient will be the next number to extract the digit right so i will show one step i will just print this uh, I'll show you this. Yeah, four, five, four. So this last, sorry, four, five, four. So this last digit should be extracted, right? So that should be the first digit. And next, how will I extract the next 5? Right, I should take this 45 as the next number and I should extract the last digit. So I have just printed both digit and num and I will execute it. 454. Four. Yeah, I should have printed it in new line. Right. So you can see first this is the digit. Right. The digit that is the last 4. Then the next number is 45. From this 45 I, I have extracted the last number 5. Then the next number is 4. In this 4 what is the reminder? When I divide 4 by 10, 4 modulus 10, the reminder is 4. So the number becomes 0. 4 modulus 10 Reminder is 4. 4 divided by 10. Quotient is 0. So the number becomes 0. So it comes out of the while loop. Right. So this is how it works. Reverse number and the original number is same. So it is a palindrome number. One more example we can see. Reverse is 321. 321 is not equal to 123, so it is not a palindrome number. Thank you.